You know, I get it. Inflation's out of control, wages are stagnant, we're getting gouged on food prices, and you have to keep up those subscriptions on Twitch and OnlyFans going. If only there was a way, a cheaper way, to get your dream next generation AMD PC. Well, turns out, there is. With the launch of the brand new 800 chipset motherboards, AMD is also launching a brand new class of motherboards based on the B840 chipset. A series of boards even more affordable than B850. This will allow you to get an AM5 base PC running either Ryzen 7000 or Ryzen 9000 for absolutely dirt cheap. Mostly because of how many corners they are cutting with this thing. When it comes to PC Express speeds, you're stuck with Gen 3. Even though Gen 4 is something we've already had since the 500 series. So it's likely these boards are coming back from 2019, but without bringing any of the cool stuff back with them. Like that pre-COVID stability and optimism. And while that might sound like a major downgrade, and all of the companies are constantly pushing and telling us how much faster PC speeds matter for graphics cards and SSDs. But here in the real world, and not the one made by the marketing departments of companies like NVIDIA, AMD and pretty much all of the SSD vendors out there, it really doesn't matter that much. I mean we still don't have PC Gen 5 graphics cards, most people don't see the advantages of speeds of modern cutting edge MVMEs, and of course because it's all backwards and forwards compatible, it doesn't matter if there's a mismatch in generations between what your motherboard can handle and what your PC devices can actually do. Then there's other downsides, like for example the lack of USB 4, which if you can't keep track of the enigma of a naming scheme that a USB 4 have created, basically just means 40 gigabits per second. Which again would be really nice to have, but how many average folk on the daily need a 40 gigabit per second link? Like I know our time is precious and saving just a couple of seconds on a file transfer could be precious time we could spend doing something a bit more productive, but let's be honest, we're all PC nuts. We aren't doing anything more productive with that time. The biggest downgrade that will have a actual impact on how you use your PC is overclocking support, or rather the lack of it, given how there'll be only memory overclocking, no CPU OC support on these boards. Seeing how it's one of the easiest ways to get more performance for free, and especially on the lower end, being able to squeeze even just a single frame or two more frames in your favorite games for free is a pretty big W, it's a bit of a shame, but again, it is by far the most budget option AMD will be offering to you, the consumer. Wow, okay, that's kind of what AMD got me worried. Because in one of the slides explaining all these brand new chipsets for the 800 series generation, and no, I have no idea who that guy in the corner is either, they do have this note about B840, how it's going to be mostly for valued system integrators. Given how AMD has definitely not shied away from having OEM only SKUs before, that is kind of worrying. That there may be a chance that we may not even have these motherboards for anyone to use or buy normally in pretty much any store, which would kind of make this video useless. But that is just one small worry that may not even come true. So far these are looking very promising for people who just want to experience the latest in Ryzen CPUs but just don't want to overpay for a motherboard and features that in reality they really don't need. And saying all of that, sitting here with my B650E motherboard definitely does make me feel like I wasted my money somehow. Are you going to be buying one of these mobile boards when they come out? Let me know down in the comments below. And maybe check out our Amazon links down there as well, so you can buy a great value AMD mobile board right now if you need something a bit better than what B840 will offer. Maybe check out our Patreon as well, because that is always some fantastic deal. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Just Rage, Ella Vroniak, Barlet Roka, Patrick Harrison, Not a Sunanim, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Level Up, and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.